cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. today this is your boy rich and i'm here with a very special guest it's nika domi how you doing today nika hey how's it going very good very good <laughs> it's going great i'm very excited to speak with you today we are going to be doing an ongoing show and we're going to be talking about cannabis stocks and stocks in general and i think you have a very interesting story and i would love for you to share your story i know you've been in the cannabis stock sector for less than a year so how did you get into stocks and, and cannabis stocks and why are you buying cannabis stocks? Well, it is a very uh, fast-paced journey for me. I did start very quickly. It was a decision that was probably a, a split-second decision where I just got a tip from a good friend. Uh, he said, hey, you need to go to the bank and open yourself a tax-free savings account for trading. Wow. And I don't think I asked many questions. <laughs> I ran to the bank, I opened the account, and I worried about the rest later. <laughs> wow. So that is probably the most important step that a lot of people that even that I talk to right now and that I say to them, listen, it's really, really flowing. You guys have to get this account and start trading. And a lot of people hesitate. They say, you know what, I'm going to look into it and I'll, I'll keep reading and you know, and this is where everyone sort of loses out. Just get the account open, that's what I said, and then worry about the rest. Because the time is ticking. We have October 17th, literally in a few days, um, and it's just a huge day for Canada, huge day for the world even, because we're really leading this uh, this journey onto the, the natural ways of doing things and bringing the nature into the business, into the stock market. It just... It really proves um, what it's how powerful it is because of, we we can see the rise on all these companies is enormous. This hasn't happened since when they say since probably when the dot com um, big explosion happened back in the day. So this is really a big thing, and I don't think a lot of people realize how huge it is until they see um, you know their money going up in in the account and, and then they realized. So that's my journey basically. I started early this year. Um, I think I was a little bit late, but hey, never never too, you know, it's never too late. <laughs> I agree. It's not too late. Yeah. We're just, honestly, um, we're five days away from legalization. Legalization is the start. Mm -hmm. So many people got it twisted. Like yesterday I'm talking to some parents at my son's soccer game and one of the parents, you know, it's his opinion. His opinion is in 12 months, this will be done. It's mm -hmm. going to be 12 months. Everyone's going to be talking about cannabis stocks, and then it'll be done. No one will talk about it anymore. I disagree. Mm -hmm. I disagree. This is the next 20 years. This is going to be consistent news. There's going to be consistent breakthroughs. There's going to be billions of dollars made over the next 10 to 20 years in this industry. Companies are going to blow up like Canopy Growth has and instantly has become a billion-dollar company in four years. Four years, we've seen cannabis growth from a dollar to like 60 plus. We've seen Tilray go from $20 to as high as 300 in the last few months. We've seen Aurora Cannabis go from a dollar in January of 2017 when I was buying it to $15. We've seen, uh, we've seen uh, uh, Afria go from a dollar in January of 2017 to $20 today. It ain't going nowhere, people. This is just getting started. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. That is always why I say, buy when it's down, sell when it's up. Have no emotion because the way these stocks work is if they go down, they ain't going to give you your money back. So you need to, exactly. be, you need to be ruthless. And I'm <laughs> excited about having more women trading with us here at RichTV Live because our community is predominantly men. 87% of my audience is men. I don't know why, but I want to change that. So I'm excited about working with you, doing a show with you, so that we can attract more women to show the women, listen, women are better traders than men historically. Why are you not involved in the cannabis sector? Why are you not involved in investing? It's another asset. It's like investing in real estate. Buy it, stack it away, store it for a few years. A couple of years, you come back, and that stock could be up a 1,000%. Well, what I've learned um, through the months that I, I started actually when the whole big, 
wave has kind of calmed down. And I bought in, um, my first company was Organigram. Because yes, very My company. friend really believed in it, and he said, listen, start with these guys, they're really awesome. I, I did my research, and I also did my research on them. I started reading up from Organigram. It went from one to another. I started reading up about all these companies. You know, we spend so much time just scrolling you know, scrolling down our Instagram pages and our Facebooks and, you know, we click like on all these things and we read all these, uh, all this information, but what is this information really bringing into our life? Is it, is it benefiting our lives that much? You know, we're spending that time, but we're not growing. So I've taken that time away from, you know, scrolling through things and I put it into learning about the stock market, learning about the companies, and it just became quite easy. It's not as hard as people think. Uh, you don't have to really know the technicals at, at first. All you need to do is make just pick a couple of companies that you feel good in your inside about because it really comes down to your intuition. If you feel yes. kind of warm inside when you're reading about a stock, it's probably, you know, it's probably a good chance that that's a good stock for you. So just pick some favorites learn about them, um, keep reading about them. The more you get to know the company, the more that you will know their behavior and how their stock goes and when it could come down. Um, for example, just now, um, I just sold my Organigram, which was my first hold. Nice, I congratulations. I know, and I held it, I held on to it since the beginning. I bought it at, I think, $4 and something. Nice, um, Nika, And Very now nice. I sold it for 7 they almost seven fifty. Almost a hundred percent return. You almost doubled your money, girl. Yes, and I waited on that one. I learned how it behaved, and now I knew that they hit their top. So I thought, you know what? I'm selling it. Smart. I figured that they would come down and consolidate yes. a little bit, and yes. now I'm waiting, you know, to, for that next moment to to position back again and. And keep going because I think they're pretty good. They just actually um, got their organic license back. Yes. So I'm, I'm pretty big into organic stuff. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are. And I think that's a huge benefit. I think they're like the, there's only about three companies that are organic certified in, in this sector right now. And in Canadian at least. So. And guys, the symbol um, for Organigram in Canada is OGI. And the symbol in America is OGRMF. And Organogram is one of my fab five. When I first started doing my channel, January 2017, Organogram was at a dollar. A <laughs> dollar. Here we are. Yeah. Less than two years later, they are at 750. So they're up 700% in less than two years. And then you wonder why I say to people you should get into stocks. It's an yes. explosive way to make money. Yeah, you can lose money. It's very risky. Guys, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education, entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Do your research before you invest in anything that you talk about and you hear about here on Rich TV Live. Now, one thing that Nika did say that I love is that she loved the company. She researched it and she loved it. Even though her friend told her to buy it, she wasn't going to do it until she researched it first and fell in love with the company. And congratulations. That is exactly how you win in the stock market. Mm -hmm. And I'm not surprised that you won. And I guarantee you will win again and again if you continue to use that strategy. Study good yes. companies. What I, um, what I figured right now, after all these months, I mean, I've made some mistakes. And, and, and really, I'm actually glad for these mistakes because sometimes if you make a, a small mistake, and again, start small. You don't have to jump in huge. Yes. Uh, your mistakes will save you from making that same mistake another time when you say you could have lost a lot more. So it's really good to start small, make some mistakes, just put in the, the amount of money that you can lose and just figure your way. And I have divided my companies in this way. Like I have, I'm going to show you, I have a big list. I started like writing down Very good. <laughs> companies. And like whenever that. there's some kind of news, I just write down what the news came out because it's somewhat impossible to remember everything, right? There's you are dating. You are dating the stocks. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's called dating the stocks. You're getting to know their patterns. You're getting to know their their trends. You're getting to know their news. You're getting to know their tendencies. Once you mm -hmm. get to know everything about the stock and you've dated it, 
then you can marry the stock. And to me, marrying the stock is buying the stock. Now, yeah. if I sell the stock in the green, that was a very, very good marriage. Now, if yeah. I sell the stock in the red, that's a divorce. I don't yeah. like that. I don't like divorce. Yeah. I don't like selling in the red. In fact, I will not sell in the red. So what I choose to do, my strategy is invest in the research, find great companies with strong revenue, strong balance sheets, strong products, great management. And if they go down, I buy more. And if they go down, yeah. I buy more. If they go down, I buy more. I get a bunch of stock. And then eventually, three months, six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months down the road, they always explode because these companies have to explode to raise money. And I know this. So because I know they have to explode to raise money, at some point, eventually, they will. They will. Yeah. It's a strategy now to take to, to take seriously, I think, um, going forward, because we have the date coming up so fast. And a lot of people were expecting this date to be a boom. But then there's others saying, oh, you know what? It's all baked in the price. It's already been kind of, you know, pre made and, and you know it, it's over as you said some people say it's over but it's it's definitely not over it's just the beginning the only thing that we have to now be kind of mindful of is maybe just really invest in the companies that you really believe in that do have what you just said exactly good management and good strategy that are secure um you know someone that is that you can feel comfortable with. And I think those companies that have good CEOs, that have good business strategies, um, and, you know, those are the ones that are going to be left. And probably the smaller ones will get bought out too. So there's never, you never know, because there's so many uh, companies joining together and to form a big company. So it's really not a lot of room to lose, I think, still. So I think there's just it's just getting started for sure because the earnings are coming in, the sales are coming in. Now we're going to be based on the actual sales, you know, that we can look at what the company has sold and how much their revenues are and how much their profits are. So before we weren't really able to do that. A lot of companies don't really have, they, they only go back a quarter or two quarters, you know, just because they're so new. So if their companies are so new, we can't really predict how they're going to behave. But now going forward, I think the earnings are going to be the main focus. I go from I come from the Warren Buffett School of Investing. When Warren Buffett invests in a stock and people are like, hey, Warren, what do you think the stock's going to do tomorrow? He's like, I don't know. They're like, what do you think it's going to do next week? He's like, I don't know. He's like, what do you think it's going to do next year? He's like, I don't know. And they're like, well, yeah. why are you buying it? Because I think based on my research that 20 years from now, they're going to be a market leader. Now, yeah. if you invest like Warren Buffett and you think like that, and he's the most successful investor ever, <laughs> ever in the world, why would you go against his strategy? So my strategy yeah. is similar, buy in the red, sell in the green, think long-term. I'm not even looking at the markets right now. I'm not even concerned. Could they go yeah. up, could they go down? Yeah, yeah. Um, long term, do I think my picks are going to go up? Yes. I mean, yeah. that's all I can say because I've invested time in the research of those companies. I didn't buy yeah. them because somebody said buy them. I bought them because I researched them and I believe in them. If they go mm -hmm. down, then I will go down with the ship. That's just the way I trade. But I believe in my instinct and I believe in my research. I was able to correctly predict Aurora Cannabis, Cannabi Growth, Afria. HMMJ ETF, Organogram, those were my Fab Five last year, all of which have gone up hundreds and in some cases thousands of percent. Exactly. And, and same here, the ones that I actually had patience for, the ones that I held off and waited and, you know, that I felt very comfortable with, those are the ones that have brought me the most profit. So that right. was my Organogram and that was my Afria. Um, just before AFRI, I went in, and, and I like to pick the big ones for the long term, and then maybe play with the smaller companies on a in like a trading deal um, on a daily basis. So my AFRI, I jumped in. Just it, it was my intuition telling me I just felt so good about the company, and I, when I heard the name, it was just like ah, like you know you 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 feel your intuition, right? Yeah. You really have to connect with yourself too. And so after I jumped in like quickly, it was just to spare the moment. 
I did wait with them a, a, a couple months, and just now they um, they hit like a really nice top. So because of the news that that, that came out, and I actually just sold them, but I'm definitely uh, waiting for a moment to jump back in there because I totally believe they can most like like I'm giving them a twenty four dollars in the near future for sure. I agree with that. I, 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 I think that there's gonna... very likely. I think that's very very likely, and I'm very I'm very happy with all your success. We need more women, okay, yes. to be part of the Rich TV Live community. Nika oh, is an amazing it. member of the community. She's part of our group chat. Guys, join our group chat. It's growing super fast. It's a social media platform where we can share pics 24 hours a day, seven days a week, share ideas. Let us know if you like the pics, if you dislike the pics. The more people are working together to find pics, the more money we're all going to make. Today, we dropped the video Pura. One of my members, Andrew Ellington, told me about this a month ago. I didn't take it seriously. It went up 50% yesterday. It's up another 50% today. That's 100% in two days on a pick that one of our members brought. Yeah. That's all I got to <laughs> say, man. I mean, there's not really much else to say. We have a very powerful community. It is getting stronger. It will get better, and it is free. You are a key member to that community. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm going to let you go back because I know you got about an hour left in the market. I got about an hour left in the market. Yes. Let's go take a look at the stocks. Thank you so much for your time today, Nika. Thank you. I wish you all the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And let's do this again soon. And follow my channel. <laughs> it's new. There's not much there, but it's coming up. Follow my channel. You'll see a lot of cool stuff there soon. I will have a link to Nika's channel in the description of this video. So you guys go and subscribe to her channel, support her channel, support Rich TV Live. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. Nika, all the best. Continue your success. Thank you so much for everything today. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> if you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy, Rich. We're out. Peace.